Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I will discuss different types of miniature circuit breaker. In the last video, I have presented the differences between miniature circuit breaker and molded case circuit breaker MCCB. It's very important to choose the right type of circuit breaker depending on your application. Since the circuit breaker is a protection device and also it is an automatically operated electric switch and the purpose of the circuit breaker is to break the circuit or trip the circuit during an event of overload or short circuit. When I say overload, it means that when the load is drawing excessive current more than its rated current, it's an abnormal condition and it is called an overload. And when I say short circuit, it means that for some reason the phase is connected with the ground which in turn causes excessive amount of current to flow through the load. And therefore circuit breaker has both protection. One is for the overload protection and this is done with the help of biometallic strip in the circuit breaker and for short circuit protection the circuit breaker has a tripping coil. So you can say that the circuit breaker has both the thermal and magnetic protection. Since it is a very critical device in the electrical power system, so the selection of the circuit breaker is also a very critical decision because it directly affects the operation of your system and also the protection of your circuit. Also in my previous video, in my previous video, I have discussed that miniature circuit breaker is used for the domestic purposes and the molded case circuit breaker is used for the industrial and commercial purposes. In the domestic usage, there can be small motors, large motors or the domestic appliances. The behavior of different types of load is different so it's very important to know the different types of miniature circuit breaker in order to select the right type depending on your load so that it won't cause any nuisance tripping and also it will safely protect your circuit. So I will try to explain the functionality of different types of miniature circuit breaker using this graph. The different types of miniature circuit breaker depends on the capability to trip or break the circuit at multiple times of the rated current. It is very important to remember that all the types of miniature circuit breaker mainly depends on the instantaneous stripping and which is done through magnetic tripping. It's not through the overload tripping, it's only through the magnetic tripping and whenever the current exceeds multiple time of the rated current, the instantaneous tripping will be active and it will trip the circuit breaker. For example, when I say 6, it means that the breaker will trip when the load is drawing six times the rated current and also these types are based on the short circuit current because whenever there is a short circuit it means that multiple times of the rated current will flow through the circuit it will not happen during the overload it will only happen during the short circuit but it is also very important to understand the difference between the starting currents of uh, the electric machines and the short circuit. And therefore, in order to avoid the nuisance stripping of the circuit breaker during the starting period of the motor, we use different types of miniature circuit breaker. The first type of the circuit breaker is the Z type and it is the most sensitive among all the other types of miniature circuit breaker that is, it will trip the circuit whenever the current exceeds the two times of the rated current. And this type of circuit breaker is mainly used to protect the semiconductor devices that is trike or SCRs. The next type of circuit breaker is the B type circuit breaker which trips the circuit whenever the current exceeds the three times of the rated current. It means that the B type circuit breaker is less sensitive than Z type. We can also infer a very important conclusion from 
this graph also that here you can see that it will only trip whenever the load current exceeds three times of its rated current it means that if the current through the load is only two times of its rated current its magnetic tripping will not be active only it will trip the circuit through its overload and this type of circuit breaker is normally used for the appliances because they have a medium starting current and therefore in order to avoid the tripping during the starting of these appliances B type of circuit breaker is normally employed. The next type and even less sensitive circuit breaker is the C type which trips the circuit whenever the load current is between 5 to 10 times of its rated current. And this type of circuit breaker is used for small motors. So again in my previous video I have mentioned that the maximum current capacity of the miniature circuit breaker is normally 125 ampere so even for the domestic usage there can be a small or the big load which can even draw more than 100 amperes so we can use miniature circuit breaker but for small motors which have small inrush current we can use c type motors the next type is even less sensitive and this is k type circuit breaker and it trips the circuit whenever the fault current is between 8 to 12 times of the rated current so as you can see here that this is less sensitive than the c type circuit breaker and these are used for even bigger motors because they have high inrush starting current and in order to avoid nuisance tripping during starting of big motors K type circuit breakers are employed because they are less sensitive and they will not trip until the current exceeds 8 times the rated current. And the last and the least sensitive of these breakers is the D type breaker which trips the circuit whenever the current exceeds 10 to 20 times of the rated current and these are normally used for very high starting current appliances like welding machines transformers etc so i have explained all the types of miniature circuit breaker in very detail and also i have shown for what types of load they can be used so it's very important for the designer to select the right type of miniature circuit breaker in order to avoid the nuisance stripping so at the end we can devise the selection criteria of the mcb the first thing to consider is the rated current of the load the another very important parameter to consider is the starting current of the load because all the types of the miniature circuit breaker mainly depends on the starting current of the load and the last thing is the trip characteristic of the circuit breaker which tells you that this circuit breaker allows how much current to flow through it before breaking the circuit so i hope you like this video for more interesting video Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.